Hello and welcome to a new Nomad Cipello video. I'm Luna. And I'm Nick. And we're here today to talk again about the access fee to Venice. There's another video on our channel where we talk about what the access fee is, how it works in general, but we want to do a little something different in this video. Yes, we want to walk through the actual process to register for the access fee. So let's start by going to the website for the Venice Access Pass. And I think we'll need to scroll down on this page and we're looking for whether we want to pay the fee or register for an exemption. So in our case, we have a booking for a hotel within the municipality of Venice. So we will go to the exemptions page. But if we were just visiting for a day or two and did not have a hotel, we would need to pay the fee and that would be the other option. But we'll click on go to exemptions. And then the first option you have on this page is I'm a guest of an accommodation facility located in the municipality of Venice, which is exactly what we need. So most tourists, you know, somebody staying in a hotel or Airbnb would choose that option. Okay, so we'll start by selecting the dates of our stay. And we can only select the dates that require the access fee. So in our case, we're staying from the 23rd to the 27th of April, but we need to only select the, from the 25th to the 27th. Because though we're staying the 23rd and the 24th, the pass is not required during those days. So we just need to register 25th to 27th. So we'll put in those dates, then click next. And here you are required to uh, list all of your personal information. So this is for the main holder. If you're registering for a family, a group of people staying at the same accommodation, just put in one person's information here to start. Now I filled in my name and my information, and now we need to set how many people are staying together in this accommodation. So it will be the two of us. So I'll set that. And then we are going to look for the accommodation, either by the name of the accommodation or the address, or if we know the code of the accommodation. So you can just click on this field and start typing in that name or that code and find what you're looking for here on this list. We found the name of the hotel we're staying at, so we'll select that. Then there's that standard box you see on other websites where you have to agree to the terms and conditions. But in this case, you actually have to click on the link and let it load the terms of conditions. Once you see that, you can close that tab, then you can click the box, then click next. Okay, in this next page, you can add the additional holders. So if there are other people in your party that are staying at the same accommodation, you can add them here. So all my information is already filled in. We'll fill in an additional holder. This will be Luna's information. And once that's filled in, again, we can click Next. Now, this is a step that we did not know about, and we had some people asking questions about, and it does seem a little bit unusual, but this is an important step in the process. You'll need to provide your phone number. After you've given them your phone number, they're going to give you a number to call. Now, one strange thing about this, when you go to the field to set your country code, these are not listed in the order that you might expect. If you scroll through, you may not be able to easily find your country code. So just click on the field, type the plus symbol, followed by your country code, and let it sort the menu down. Then you should be able to find your country code and fill in your phone number. You'll need to do that twice to confirm. So once you've filled in your own phone number, you can click Next. This confirms all of the information that you've put in. Then when you click Confirm, it gives you one minute to call the phone number on the screen. So make sure you have your phone ready and make sure you're able to call an international number if you're not located in Italy. But don't worry, it is not going to charge you for the call. So what will happen is you'll place the call and it will answer the call, but you'll just hear a message letting you know that the call can't be connected. All it needs to do is be able to recognize that you did call that number and in our case, fairly instantly, it recognized that we placed the call and then it brought us to this confirmation page. Now the confirmation of your Venice Access Pass will be emailed to you because you put your email information in during this registration process, or you can click the detail button here 
And from this page, you can even save it to your computer, you can print it, or you can send it via email once again. Whether you have a printout or have it saved to your email, it's important you keep this confirmation somewhere you can easily access it as you're walking around Venice. Because at some point, the authorities may ask for your confirmation to prove that you've paid for the day access or registered for the exemption. So that's the process you would go to if you need to register for Venice access when you are staying in a hotel or Airbnb or a similar accommodation. If you're not staying in an accommodation within the municipality of Venice, if you're just visiting for the day, you would choose the option to pay the access fee and go through the same process, but with the payment added to it. All there on the same website. So if you're going to be visiting Venice, I hope this video helps you get an idea of what this process looks like before you have to sit down and do it. Let us know in the comments if you have uh, other questions, if you have any other problems with this process, uh, and we're here to help you and check out our other videos on our channel.